What's up, guys? Nishio here, and welcome back to the to this episode of the Sports Show. Today, I'll be talking about the NCAA men's basketball as Selection Sunday is near. I'll also uh, be talking about the new Clippers rebranding, and I know I've been out for a, for a long time. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, so. Uh, but I'm going to try to get back on track and start making a little more videos. And I already do have another video planned, which will be coming out soon. I'm not sure when, but probably in the next week or so. Um, so first off, we'll, we'll be talking about the uh, NCAA the NCAA standings and Selection Sunday. So yeah, with NCAA uh, Selection Sunday coming up, I just want to take a look at these standings. And these standings are as of March 2nd at around 4.15 p.m., so they may have changed. But I'm kind of surprised with this uh, placing of some teams and what they are in their own individual conferences. They're standing in their own individual conferences, so... All right, so first off, we have Houston. They're first in the Big 12. I'm uh, not so surprised that Houston's up here. Then we have Purdue at number two, first in the Big 10. We have UConn at uh, number three, first in the Big East. We have Tennessee at number four, for, uh, first in Southeastern. Uh, we have... At number five, we have Marquette. They're second in the Big East because, of course, we got UConn at the three. Uh, so those make sense. Um, actually, when I was checking these standings, I didn't actually know what Marquette was. So apparently they're, they have a good basketball program because they're fifth in uh, AP. So, yeah, the, I got these to AP Top 10. This is the AP Top 10, if I didn't say it earlier. And uh, it's just I just took the Top 10, obviously, out of the AP Top 25. Uh, okay, so those were the first five. Then uh, we have Arizona at number six. They're first in the Pac-12. We have Kansas, fourth in the Big 12, which, uh, which actually I was very surprised when I saw that because – you're seventh in uh the AP rankings, so how would you be fourth in your individual conference? I would expect them to be at least somewhere like second or third, but because uh the only other Big Twelve uh team here above uh Kansas is Houston, which is first. So I'm not sure who the second and third are, but apparently they're not in the AP top ten. Uh, so at number eight, we have Iowa State, not to get confused with Iowa. Um, Iowa State is second in the Big 12. Um, oh, so they're also in the Big 12 along with Kansas and Houston, but they're, uh, they're second, but they're just lower. Hmm. So, but I'm also pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the AP top 10 and top 25 are polls, I think, with voters. I don't know. Um. Then we at number nine we have UNC. They're the first in the Atlantic Coast, and then Duke also in the Atlantic Coast. They're second. Uh, my favorite basketball player Jason Tatum went to Duke. Go Celtics! They just won today by fifty two points. Uh, but we're talking about NCAA right now. So, and so these are some uh honorable mentions that are not in the top ten. Uh. But they're still in the top twenty-five. So the uh at number sixteen we have Kentucky. They are fourth in the southeastern conference. At number twenty-three we have Gonzaga. Uh, they're second in the west coast. And at number twenty-four we have the Florida Gators. At uh they are sixth in southeastern. So yeah, those are uh some standings and so here are some notable dates for uh march madness selection sunday will be on sunday march 17th uh the final four will be on saturday april 6th in glendale at glendale at at state farm stadium in glendale arizona i call it glendale stadium sometimes i don't know why um, I think I saw it some somewhere uh, around the Super Bowl last year because it took place at State Farm Stadium, but that's besides the point. Uh, and then the championship game uh, will be on Monday, April 8th. So, yeah, those that's uh, really all there is about March Madness. So those standings and the notable dates. 
Um, yeah, so now we'll be talking about the Clippers rebranding. So as the Clippers enter into a dome for the 2024 to 25 season, Steve Ballmer, the chairman of the Clippers, has announced a rebrand evolving from their recent and what I uh, think pretty bland logos, logo and jerseys. So you can see the logo on the screen right now. That's their old logo, but they've evolved from that. Thankfully, thankfully. Because, like, as I said, I think it's pretty bland. A lot of executives and fans have think uh, have thought it's pretty bland. Even some players out uh, um outside of the Clippers, like on different teams, have been asked this question: What do you think about the uh, Clippers logo? And they've said it's pretty generic and bland. So, uh. The Clippers have held many fan polls slash surveys, and they have been asking, uh, they have been against changing the Clippers name, uh, as, like, the fans have been against changing the Clippers name, as Chairman Steve Ballmer was questioning why he even used that name in the first place, which is why he held these polls. So, uh, the team knew that they needed, uh, that they needed a... A uh, rebrand almost, so they could evolve from their uh, from their basic L L A C logo, which they see what you see on the screen, which has been known by players, executive, and fans as uh, very generic and bland. And since since fans. Since fans love the Clipper name so much in nod of Clipper, Clipper and Naval ships that the team's name was based on, Bomber and the Clippers chose to keep the name for next season, but just chose to make over the current logos and jerseys. The color scheme is the is still the traditional Clippers red, white, and blue, but now it's more of a darker navy blue than that light blue you see in the sea on the screen. So, uh, that is the new logo. Uh, it is, uh, the, a naval ship is the new centerpiece of that logo, which some, uh, fans and players and executives have said that it may look like a shark that is swimming right at you, but officials said that they wanted the ship to look menacing and that it is actually, like, coming towards you. So, I guess, uh, the people who said it looks like a shark was, were half right, I guess, sort of. I don't know, maybe. Um, and the global logo. This is the global logo per um per league rules that they uh because they need to have the f- team's full name on the logo and uh the font on this global logo is inspired by the font used on the hulls of some navy vessels and is a nod to uh naval ships again because on the global logo the n in uh angeles as you can see here uh is uh is lined up due north and uh also, the coordinates for Inglewood, Inglewood, California, uh, where the Intuit Dome will be located, will be on the sideline of the court, as you, we can see here. Uh, yeah, this, so this is the court with the new logo at the center, Intuit Dome. And yeah. Uh, and so now we have the jerseys. They, they will be a lot different than Clippers jerseys for the 2023-24 to 24 season, and the font is similar to some of their recent jerseys. The Icon jersey will be white, and the Association jersey will be navy blue that the Clippers are trying to incorporate more, as I said earlier when I was talking about like the same color scheme that they'll be using. Um, so, on both the icon and association jerseys the team name will be on the front clippers we can see that here and then uh and la will be while la will be on the waistband we can see that here uh with the with the uh naval the naval ship logo uh being on the shorts and uh the statement jersey is a little different it is colored red and it has Los Angeles on the front rather than uh, Clippers. And on the waistband, there is the shortened version of uh, Clippers clips. 
right there, uh, which has uh, which has always been a favorite of Balmer, like a favorite team nickname of Balmer. And as I said earlier, the uh, the naval ship logo will still be on the shorts. And uh, the team the team statement edition jerseys will transition from black to red because uh, we because quote we kept hearing from people that black was overdone end quote Jillian Zucker an executive at the Clippers said. Also, in the statement edition jerseys, there will be three nautical flags stacked on each other, and these are the nautical symbols for LAC. Another another nod to the team's the team name's naval origin. We can see these right here underneath uh, Paul George's arm, and uh, there will be some on the other side. I just didn't get an image of that. And uh, none of the jerseys revealed were, uh, were powder blue, but uh, but as I said earlier, the Clippers held many fan surveys, and in these surveys, fans showed love for uh, for the shade of powder blue. Uh, but Zucker does expect a powder blue jersey in the future. Uh, so now I'm going to be giving a side by side comparison of the jerseys. Uh, with the jerseys from this season, like the 2023 to 24 season, these jerseys will look a little bit different, like the the jerseys for this year, because they are they are from a software called uh, I'm using a software called Locker Vision, which is a simulation and is not actually the and isn't the jerseys actually on a player's body. So first we have the Icon Edition. Uh, they're pretty similar, same uh, red, same, this is the one for this year, this is of course the new one. Uh, the I like the font more on this one, um, because I just like how it's more playful, and especially like the waistband as well, because like just having the, uh, again, generic LAC logo on the waistband, it just didn't, It, it this is more playful, fun, like that LAR almost. But it still does have that uh, A resting on the L, on the bottom of the L, as seen in the original logo. But yeah, otherwise the font is still mostly blue here and here. This is, again, that navy blue that they want. Um, and then the the number on the jersey is uh, red, still red. So just a couple of different changes, like, uh, the, there's stripes on the shorts now, and then the stripes around the arms, or actually now there's stripes around the arms, but the stripes around the neck. Um, so now the, the, yeah, these are the association jerseys. Uh, so again, pretty similar uh, now the Clippers font on the front is red rather than white in the old jerseys, but the number is still, uh, white. Um, and then, and then, yeah, again, we have that LAR almost, uh, with, I don't know why I'm calling it art, that's what it said in the article, the ESPN article, which I got which I got the information from. And then, yeah, that generic LAC logo there. Um, you can kind of see here that they had the some logo on the back of the shorts. Now they have it on the front of the shorts. And then still the NBA logo, Nike logo, that stuff. Um, and then, so now it's the statement edition jerseys. So uh, n now this is where we have the big leap. Uh, they, as, uh, as I said earlier, they felt like black was overdone, so they chose that red, and then again, I don't know where they're getting, like, the, I don't know why they chose this font, but now they chose the more, like, uh, um, I'm forgetting, a cursive font, uh, and then again, clips here rather than LA, and rather, uh, rather than the LA art, but then also not that old LAC logo, and then, yeah, so they they also have these, like, random stripes or, like, triangles, I guess. I don't know where the font and the triangles came from. And I like this jersey a lot more than this one. I don't know what, what they were thinking when they designed this. Um, uh, I like that font. And then 
I the one thing I am kind of against, I don't really like the font of the numbers. Cause I know there's some people that are especially picky on the font of the numbers or like on the jersey. But yeah, I would say it's actually pretty good. And here, uh, a hidden a hidden Clippers reference is actually in the logo. Cause this is the uh the outer ring of the logo is shaped to look like a C. So if you look like at uh the the logo on the shorts here, you can see that C around there. So. And then these are meant to be, like, compasses. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'm going to be putting the uh, link for the ESPN article uh, on the Clippers rebrand uh, in the description. I'm also going to be putting the link to Locker Vision in the description. You can uh, see the jerseys for all, te for all the teams. And if there's any special edition jerseys, you can also see that. Like, you could see the All-Star Game jerseys there. You can see, like, the Lakers Black Mamba jersey. Some, uh, there's one type of jer the there's one edition jersey where it's, like, only if you're celebrating a birthday, like, the your 20th. 25th uh anniversary or like a team's 50th anniversary then they'll get a special edition jersey so you can see those too it's pretty cool i would check it out if i were you but yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed that's it for this video peace